good evening dear friends welcome back to the third hackathon on the artificial intelligence and let me just tell you that his thought to get this hackathon he is actually creating vibration and the ripple effect which is going at the india level is something which is unimaginable more importantly let me just share with you that in the process we all are learning the learning is going to a different level only for a simple reason i make the statement that the youngsters who are actually coming forward and showcasing their talent as a panelist is actually motivating our senior members also thank you daya sir and it's a uh... encouraging as always to listen to you and this time it's a easy thing to adopt technology by listening to you and uh, yes sir uh, we all are very excited for today's hackathon and uh, as you said these hackathons are becoming like uh, ipl matches many offices are uh, showing it live on their screen and articles and employees all of them are sitting together and uh, uh people are giving ranking so it has become like dream 11 team or circle 11 team who will uh, uh, score how many runs so it has become a, like an uh, ipl uh, season like a ai hackathon season for all of us so thanks to all the panelists thanks to all participants and uh, let's start our today's third hackathon now we are moving to the next panelist that is hiren bandari hiren your backdrop is very beautiful you have done an ai backdrop so over to you hiren unmute yourself is my screen is visible yeah yeah respected dhaneva sharma ji sir chairman ai committee in icci umesh sharma ji vice chairman ai committee in icci and all my uh, panelists and all the my colleagues and friends who are watching this uh, today's uh, uh, this hackathon myself c arin bandari from byavar i am practicing chartered accountant i also as a chairman of byavar branch of circ uh, now uh, i move towards my small presentation just so for a brief idea because some there may be some uh, user viewers also that are very uh, that not, might not have basic knowledge of ai i just have prepared a small slides where i want to showcase uh what is the use of ch chat gpts and other ai tools which can be used like uh, we can compare two or more documents we can uh, use these tools for grammar check or we can also use these tools for uh, uh, creating bulk document like audit plan fees reminder appointment letter etc and also we can use this for drafting representation appeal drafting and also we can use these tools to get feedback on our documents or and summarize our documents like what shantanu uh, my previous panelists have shown to you um, now what are some of the tools which can be used like for asking any question or drafting we can use chat gpt google gemini copilot for grammar check we can use grammarly merlin microsoft 365 for pdf reader we can use pdf reader one one thing very is important in all these ai tools is how to generate a good prompt for generating good prompt we have to establish context explain the topic specify the task and ask follow up question for uh, uh, any type of uh, this ai tools we have to generate a good prompt then uh, the results will be very good now for practical time uh, in my case study i will be attaching i will be using chat gpt 4 uh, this is it is a paid version i will be attaching one uh, gst notice and ask chat gpt to uh, gst order and ask chat gpt to create an uh, uh, statement of facts and grounds of appeal to be submitted for appeal against this order first of all i am attaching here uh, my order is my screen is visible yes i 
I have attached order and now I will dream prompt. I have already created a prompt. I am giving a prompt that I have attached an order under GST issued in the matter related to disallowances of ITC where the supplier has filed his return after cutoff date as allowed as per the provision of GST. But now we have but we have taken ITC properly. Please draft the grounds of appeal and a statement of facts that we can be filed along with appeal. And I, I have also uh, tell to please give specific details of section of laws and also provide case laws of Supreme Court of High Court against this order and in favoring our point that ITC cannot be disallowed. And I have uh, uh, and I have also instructed Chat GPT to please take help of web or internet to search this case laws and relevant information. Now I have uh, given the prompt to Chat GPT and now it is started uh, giving his. This has created introduction. Now grounds of appeal. It is saying that uh, what are the provisions under which this ITC is allowed and what misapplication the authority has taken and what relief we are asking. This is, he is also uh, generating statement of facts. He has gather all the data like GST number, which uh, year the case is related and what, how the end section the order is issued. And he's also explaining the re relevant provisions under which appeal can be made or the time under which appeal can be filed. And now he. I can also give. It has searched the cases. And it also given the link where from where he, it has searched the cases. So that if we want to understand in detail, we can go to this link. And after that, uh, we can copy this. And uh, then after we can uh, change this thing for better submission. But chat GPT has been useful to provide us a uh, deep, uh, background so that our main task is completed. Now we have to apply our own mind skills to be more precise in relation to this appeal. We can also use uh, Copilot. It has also, uh, the, uh, the Copilot is also featured to upload the order and generate. It is also, it is free also, but there are some limitation in Copilot. In chat GPT-4, we can, uh, especially uh, uh, the outcomes are more precise uh, under chat GPT. And afterwards, what uh, my previous panelist has uh, taught us that we can use VBA tools and other things so that we can summarize our uh, this appeal in a better way. Thanks. Thanks for this. Thank you, Hiren. You have taken your use case to the next level and it was a very beautiful uh, representation that GST notices earlier it was a reply. Now, you have seen from Irene the drafting of appeal with grounds of appeal, statement of facts, and also the relevant case laws. So this is a very beautiful use case, which our participants and all others can use in their day-to-day -day GST practice. And he has taken the hot topic, ITC under section 16, subsection 4, GST is my passion subject, but now AI is my passion. I will not talk it much. But yes, he has used chat GPT-4, which is a licensed version. You can use it and you can enjoy this use case for your betterment and growth of your practice.